Nairobi vs. Lagos Detailed comparison of development, cost of living, food, livability and weather Nairobi is Kenya's capital city. It is located in the highlands of the country's south-central region at an elevation of around 1,680 meters. The city is located 300 miles northwest of Mombasa, Kenya's largest Indian Ocean port. The city began as a colonial railway colony in the late 1890s, taking its name from a Maasai water well known as Nkere Nairobi. The British colonial capital of Ukamba province was moved from Machakos to the location when the rail had arrived in 1899, and Nairobi became the capital of the British East Africa Protectorate in 1905. Lagos, on the other hand, is Nigeria's largest city, stretching inland over the Lagos Lagoon from the Gulf of Guinea. The financial core of the city, Victoria Island, is known for its beach resorts, boutiques, and nightlife. The National Museum Lagos, located on Lagos Island to the north, houses cultural relics and handicrafts. Freedom Park, which was formerly a colonial-era prison but is now a prominent site for concerts and other events, is close by. These two cities are large capital cities with bright development prospects. We'll compare and contrast both cities in terms of development, food, cost of living, livability, and weather. Thank you for taking part in Africa Reloaded. Stay tuned as we bring a full comparison of these megacities to light. Development Nairobi, Kenya's capital, has benefited greatly from several advancements that have been facilitated by a supportive policy framework and aided by international aid. Nairobi boasts nearly universal mobile phone penetration and internet connectivity of over 60% in just under two decades. With multiple incubation centers, a growing number of ICT specialists, and a tech-savvy young populace, the city is currently one of Africa's most important ICT innovation towns. Nairobi now has a plethora of economic growth potential as a result of these advancements. The GDP and population growth of Lagos, Nigeria, are the most telling indicators of the city's constantly expanding market prospects. As the government relocated the capital to Abuja in 1991, economic growth began in Lagos and continued after the government invested in the region's burgeoning oil industry. Lagos has benefited economically from Nigerian policy reforms that improve corporate privatization in addition to the oil industry. Many newly privatized enterprises are based in Lagos Yaba neighborhood, which has received financial backing from the state government, and infrastructural developments are ongoing to keep up with the city's rapid growth. In 2017, Nigeria's state output was $136 billion, accounting for more than a third of the country's GDP. Lagos' strong economy is expected to continue rising at a rate of 4.5% GDP growth per year in 2035, much higher than the present world average of 2.9%. Cost of Living Nairobi Nairobi's average cost of living is $754, placing it in the top 33% of the world's least expensive cities, ranking 6,210th out of 9,294 in our worldwide ranking and first out of 10 in Kenya. The median after-tax wage is $427, which is enough to pay for 0.6 months' worth of living expenditures. The greatest city to live in Kenya is Nairobi, which is ranked 5,237 of a list of best places to live in the world. Nairobi is Kenya's largest city, with a population of over 5.5 million people. The high cost of living in Nairobi is due to the fact that we are accustomed to a developed country lifestyle, which is difficult and expensive to maintain in certain developing countries. As a result, the cost of living in Nairobi varies greatly between residents and expats. Lagos Lagos has an average cost of living of $1,245, which is similar to the global average. It is placed 4,107th out of 9,294 cities in our global ranking and second out of 33 in Nigeria. The median after-tax wage is $236, which is enough to pay for 0.2 months' worth of living expenditures. In the list of finest places to live in the world, it is ranked 6,338 and the first best city in Nigeria. 
Lagos is Nigeria's largest metropolis, with a population of 14.9 million people. Living in Lagos is 5.3 times more expensive than the average salary because we are comparing ourselves to a developed country lifestyle, which is difficult and expensive to maintain in certain developing countries. As a result, the cost of living in Lagos varies greatly between residents and expats. Food. When eating in Nairobi, one of the first things you'll notice is the variety of ethnicities that contribute to Kenya's unique food culture. The Swahili cuisine culture is influenced by Arabian and Indian influences and can be found along Kenya's coast, such as in Mombasa. In Nairobi, you'll find less seafood, more meat, and lots of it, and a strong Indian cuisine culture influence. Local Kenyan food in Nairobi frequently includes Ugali, a maize meal staple, Sukumu wiki, a vegetable akin to collard greens, and a form of beef stew or wet fry, chapatis, beans, mung beans, maize, and kachambari round up every Kenyan meal. The fact that Nairobi is such an international city is one of the best things about eating there. Gourmet restaurants provide a wide range of cuisines, from Italian pasta to Japanese sushi. Nigerian cuisine, on the other hand, encompasses the cuisines of the country's more than 250 ethnic groups. It shares many similarities with its West African and Central African neighbors, like as Ghana, Benin, and Cameroon, in terms of cuisine. The Nigerian diet is dominated by starchy foods such as yam, cassava, plantains, rice, and beans. They're frequently served with a variety of substantial soups and stews cooked with various meats and vegetables. Vegetable stews are popular among Nigerians, who eat them many times a week. Nigerian cuisine is based on snout-to-tail eating, which means that very little of the animal is wasted. Beef, goat, lamb, chicken and turkey are popular meats, while Lagos spinach, African spinach, water leaves, pumpkin leaves, and jute leaves are some of the most popular vegetables. Livability Nairobi is famed for its breathtaking natural beauty, which will take your breath away. Nairobi is a location where everyone comes together to create a spectacular experience that will be remembered for a lifetime. Nairobi has a lot going on, from entertainment to business. Nairobi is a vibrant city with a diverse culture and a long history, as well as attractive national parks and animals. Nairobi's dynamism makes it the most fascinating metropolis on the planet. Lagos, on the other hand, is known for being Nigeria's most vibrant city. The metropolis wins the title of Nigeria's most densely populated city, with crowded streets and enormous traffic jams. With all of these prestigious honors, it is reasonable to conclude that Lagos is a fantastic city. Lagos is a world-class destination and Nigeria's most incredible metropolis, with beautiful beaches, skyscrapers, incredible parks, the best entertainment options, the most career prospects, and much more. Lagos is a city that has something for everyone. The city takes pride in its one-of-a-kind experiences and unrivaled moods, with the locals, dubbed Lagosians, serving as the city's distinguishing feature. Weather. Summers in Nairobi are brief, warm, and overcast, while winters are brief, chilly, dry, and partly cloudy. The temperature normally ranges from 54 to 81 degrees Fahrenheit throughout the year, with temperatures rarely falling below 50 degrees Fahrenheit or rising above 8 to 4 degrees Fahrenheit. The greatest time to visit Nairobi for warm weather activities, according to the tourist score, is from early July to mid-October. While the wet season in Lagos is overcast, the dry season is partly cloudy and the weather is hot and humid all year. The temperature normally ranges from 75 to 91 degrees Fahrenheit throughout the year, with temperatures rarely falling below 70 degrees Fahrenheit or rising over 94 degrees Fahrenheit. The best dates to visit Lagos for hot weather activities are from mid-July to late August and from early December to late January, according to the Beach Pool score. This comparison gives you a perspective on both cities in terms of their greatness and likely future development. One could imagine that, given the rate at which these cities are developing, 
there are no loopholes in them. The majority of these flaws are the primary reasons why the governments of these countries are working so hard to make these large cities wonderful in every way. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to Africa Reloaded for more updates.